Can I have a large iced black coffee, no cream, and no sugar? And it was iced coffee? Yes. All right, no sweetener, no cream. Anything else? Yeah, is there any way to purchase like a reusable container? Yeah, do you want a hot one or do you want the iced one? Uh, let's go with the iced one. I have a regular one or I have one with a mermaid on it. Let's go with the mermaid. Oh my gosh, look at the puppy! You're so sweet, baby. <sighs> Bitter is better, baby. Speaking of coffee, Joey Zatmer is gonna be in town in about a month. He is the co-founder of the McDonald's Coffee Club. So we're definitely gonna have some club meetings when he's here. Yes! Fifty-four. Fifty-four. What place is it? There you go, champion. What time is it? <laughs> John, I'm deadlifting today. You want to join me? Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm going to make these deadlifts hard today. You cool with that? Like, uh, no, nah, stiff leg deadlifts. Just all back, no quads. Okay, how about a deficit, too? Sure. My chains, how about that? Uh, no belt. No straps. Uh, how about weightlifting shoes? Sure. How about FUBAR? What's that? From the MB Power Center Instagram. FUBAR, the deadlift training bar. Make life hard on yourself. Training pioneers like Paul Anderson knew many years ago that one of the secrets to gaining strength was to make your training lifts harder, not easier. While designing the Foo Bar, we took all of the qualities that make a deadlift bar or a high quality barbell easier to lift and did the opposite. 1.5 inch diameter, no neural, no whip, black textured powder coat, 55 pounds. This bar's diameter challenges your strength from the floor and grip but training load does not become 100% dictated by grip as a two inch axle. What do you think? Sucks. How many chains? Two chains? 12 and a half? 25? 25? And about 50? Good enough. I'm not gonna get fancy. I'm just gonna lay them on. Oh, lost one, lost two. Fat boys. These ones are 20 each. We'll see if they stay there. If not, we'll move on the inside. Chain. All right, John thinks because he's a better deadlifter than me, that he's more symmetrical and he won't lose the chains. So we're trying the same method.
I think the, <laughs> the title of this video is going to be the hardest deadlifts of my life, but I might change it to the ugliest deadlift session of my life. Go, John. Yeah, come on. You all right, let's go. Come on. Last one, let's go. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever shook on a deadlift like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling these. As soon as it leaves the ground, I want to use my legs. So when I'm pulling here, I want to push my knees forward. And I think that's what caught you. You were here, you went pulling, and then you bent your knees, and your knees just kept yeah. <laughs> flying yeah. around. Yeah. Oh! All right, so for my stiff leg deficit, no belt, no straps, chained in weightlifting shoes, deadlift for today, how much were we using? I have not been counting. I'm sure some of you are gonna wanna know. 55 pound bar. So this is 315, 25, 35, 45, 55. 355, 10 pounds more for the bar. It's 365. 365. 385. 405. This is 25. 430. 455-ish. So, there you go. All right, Khabib's going for a single. Just a deadlift here. He's going 410 on the bar, including the bar weight. 90 pounds in chains, 500 pound deadlift. Come on! Ah, easy. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick instructional portion on how to load, how to put chains on a barbell. So the way that you commonly see is someone hooking a bar, hooking chains up like this to a bar. Well, first off, the point of chains is once there's, at the bottom of the lift, there's little to no chain weight. And as you stand up and links come off the ground, the weight gets heavier and heavier. So it's used as an overload movement. So if I was doing uh, chain squats, it'd be heaviest at the top. At the bottom, the chains deload, the weight is lighter out of the bottom, and then it gets heavier as you stand up. So that's the point. Same concept as bands. Um, it doesn't make too much sense to put the, the chain weight or the chains right on the bar like this, whether you're doing squats or bench. So today we'll talk about squats. Because up here, yes, all the chain weight is, is that holding in the bar. When you're down at the bottom, you're only deloading a handful of links. Ideally, you would have all the chain weight at the top and then no chain weight at the bottom so that you can get a full effect of the chains. Um, also, when people put chains directly on the bar like this, 
and they're swinging, it makes the lift very wobbly. Maybe you're going for that effect, but I usually don't in training. I always like the chains to be just barely touching the ground at the top. That way they're stabilized, they don't move around. If they're up here, there's gonna be a lot of swinging around. So the chains are kissing the floor like this. Um, so, instead of doing like this, right, you have to figure out where your height is at the top, where your height is at the bottom. And you would take a, so, let's, so this is a two chains, right? Fold it up in half, and then I grab the center link. It's two separate chains. And what I would do is put a beaner, carabiner like this, and then you use a feeder chain. So this would be a smaller chain, and that's what hooks on to the barbell. Like this. So the heavy chains are dropped down lower. Now here at Untamed Strength, we've got these from Elite FTS. And you can hook the chains up to varying heights. So what I would do is hook the chain up like this. It'd probably be much lower than that. Let's say that worked for me. So when I unrack the bar, so when I unrack the bar and I step back, the chain is barely kissing the ground like that. There's all the chain weight is on my back and then it's at a good height to where when I squat at the bottom, there's no chain weight at all. So I can get the full effect of the chains. I hope that makes sense. Train Unchained, coming at you live from Unchained Strength. Stephanie, are you excited about the jerk clinic tomorrow? Yeah. How much are you going to jerk tomorrow? Probably the same as I normally jerk, right around 100, 110. You hear that? 100? PR! Wow! No, not 100 kilos. <laughs> that is not going to happen. We'll be at Occam Athletics tomorrow for a jerk seminar. I'll make a video, so stay tuned for that. It'll be the next video that comes out. See you guys. Bye. 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 Tomorrow I'm headed to Occam Athletics, like I said earlier, for a jerk clinic. That'll be the next video. Wait and see how much I jerk. I need some help, because my jerk sucks. Pause and hold. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. That's it, until next time, always remember, tread on time.